Oh, hey, what's going on, guys? Clickwood here, back again with another video. And yeah, I know it's been like eight months at this point, I think, since I uploaded to the channel. And I really strongly apologize for that, guys, without giving you guys much of an update. Um, I will go into detail on where I've been and what I've been doing for the past eight months. Uh, it's not really video gaming related so much, uh, more family related. In, in a good way uh, and you'll see that at the end of the video if you guys are interested stick around to the end of the video and you can watch that but in today's video what I want to show you I'm, I'm making my return yes ladies and gentlemen for Madden 19 I am planning on uploading pretty consistently here in Madden 19 so I hope you guys are ready for me to be back hopefully you'll stay subscribed to the channel I would appreciate it uh, but anyway what I'm going to show you guys today is what I'm doing in solo battles how I'm getting so many coins I've made about a million coins in the past two weeks by playing solo battles so make sure you go on here into your solo battles check this thing out uh, and i'm going to show you guys the, the exact scheme that i'm running to get so many points on this i'm finishing very close to the top i'm not number one but that's because also i don't have amazing user skills if you guys run the scheme that i'm running and you have great user skills you could seriously finish number one in this i'm not even joking uh, and if you don't finish number one you could certainly finish top 10 or if you don't finish top 10 top 25 but the big thing is it's going to help you win basically every single game uh, if you can't do this you got to strongly work on your madden game <laughs> let's just put it that way uh, but i want to show you guys again how i'm actually getting so many coins you see there that i finished 13th this week it, it actually was 14th because because, uh, somebody passed me right after I recorded this video but uh, I finished 14th this week and then the first week which is before the official uh, release I actually finished 13th in that one and that was before I really knew what I was doing so uh, and you can see up there I only have an 83 overall team as well so I don't have a great team but you'll see uh, I finished again somewhere between 11th and 25th both weeks and in that you're going to get 150,000 coin quick sell so right off the top that's 150k you're also going to get a bunch of trophies 10 trophies you can use those for like john madden uh, david johnson a bunch of other elites things like that hail mary packs you can quick sell those for 25k and i would actually recommend that you do that the midfield packs are pretty much trash uh the two red zone packs if i remember correctly are basically like gold player packs so nothing really spectacular around those the four touchdown packs are actually pretty valuable you can either choose to open them which they contain three elites and you get to choose one of them so it's basically just a, a random elite pack or you can actually uh, quick sell them for 75,000 coins each. And that's what I recommend. So uh, if you add all that up, though, you're basically getting like 500,000 coins a week if you finish 11th through 25th. Now let's go up to number one, and you'll see the rewards don't change a whole lot. You do get more coins at the top. You get 250,000 coins. You also get a couple more of the touchdown packs, which again, sell quick sell for 200 or, uh, for 75K each. So you are getting, what, an extra, uh, like, what, 250,000 coins or something like that but uh, even if you don't finish number one you're still getting a ton and even if you don't even finish in the top 100 guys you still get a ton of stuff you get 300,000 coins basically worth of things uh, and basically to finish in the ultimate tier which is uh, anything over 300,000 basically all you have to do is win every game that's basically all that you have to do. So I'm going to show you guys today what my scheme is and what I'm actually running on the field. I'm going to show you exactly how I set everything up as well. And I think you guys might be able to learn something from this. And you might also be able to advance it, make it even better, and potentially knock me down the leaderboard even a little bit too. But I'm pretty confident I'll be able to finish like the top 50 every week at least running this exact scheme. Even if other people are running it as well. So uh, yeah, check this out guys. Here we are going into the game. And I'm just going to show you the very beginning. This is after the kickoff. So basically what I'm doing is I'm going into my coach adjustments and I'm turning on strip ball to aggressive so that we can get fumbles because you do actually get additional points for fumbles. Now the play that we're running is nickel double A gap mid blitz. Now this is a pretty familiar play for a lot of you, I assume. Uh, it's in most playbooks. It might actually be in every defensive playbook, to be honest with you. But if it's not in yours, just pick up practically any other one and it's going to be in that what I do when I'm playing this defense is I'm going to hold R2 and I'm going to see which safety is covering the running back. He's lined up on the running back and I'm going to user that safety and bring him right down to the defensive line. And you see right there, we're going to get very good pressure by our defensive line. It comes through most of the time. 
time. It doesn't always get a sack, but it almost always puts pressure on the quarterback. And on solo challenges, the computer is just not very smart. So you see there again, I've got Cam Chancellor. I see that he's the one that's covering Marshawn Lynch. Bring him down to the line. And this works against the run as well. It's just going to pretty much blow up every run. They're pretty much not going to break any runs. The only time that they ever do is when the running back just breaks like 15 tackles. And that's just maddening. You know, like you can't really do anything about that. But uh, again, we're going to bring our guys down. I actually sometimes bring down both safeties, but I'm always going to be using the one that's on the running back. And you see there, third and 15, quarterback just throws up a complete quacker to the defensive back and we get the interception. So we started off with a sack and then we also got an interception. So now let's take a look at what we're going to do on offense. Now on offense, we're going to run a play that I think a lot of people might be familiar with as well. And it's called the halfback wheel. It's out of split close. And I'm going to show you guys just exactly how I set this play up every single time. So before the play starts, what I'm going to do is come out and I'm going to audible circle into a slant. So triangle and then the circle button or the B button on your controller. And then I'm going to flick the right stick to the left. And you see there, he is just going to totally toast most coverage. And that's actually my second read. Uh, most of the time, I'm actually looking for a touchdown over the top to the square button, which is kind of interesting, and I'll show you guys that again, uh, but I'm actually going to show you guys an entire sequence here where I'm actually going to run this defense every play, and then I'm going to show you what I do on offense as well. So uh, defensive here, again, back on the mid blitz. There it is coming in, completely stuffing them, no problem at all. We're up 7 nothing. We already scored that touchdown you saw on the last drive. And uh, we're not even doing any cuts here. This is exactly what I do every single time. Come out here, pull that guy down because the tight end's on the line, so I'm not too worried about him. And then I'm actually going to pull down this safety as well. I actually prefer to have more guys to the line if I can. And there he is just throwing it out of bounds. He got scared by the pressure, so he just throws it out of bounds. And this isn't some bum quarterback, by the way. This is Ben Roethlisberger. This is an elite quarterback on all Madden. So we're getting huge pressure on him every time. Third and 11 now, he's going to be under pressure. We know he has to pass, so we can commit on the pass if we want to. Now, in this case, it's five wide, so I'm actually going to take my guy and put it on the least talented receiver, which is usually the tight end. Five wide, they're almost always going to get some sort of completion just because Madden's so cheesy like that, but we can usually keep it pretty short. So now we're back on offense again, running the split close halfback wheel, and this is in a lot of playbooks. I use the 49ers playbook, but uh, you see circle is going to be there if we want it to, but really what we're actually looking for is square over the top. And a lot of times what happens is these safeties just do not cover it at all, which is hilarious. Um, you try it out for yourself in practice mode. That play is ridiculous. And it's actually pretty solid in head to head as well. I don't want to burst any bubbles or anything, but uh, this is on the final play of the game, guys. By the way, we get pressure uh, pretty much final play of the game, 13 seconds left. So I, I actually won this one 58 to 0. And that's what I did for my solo battle. Almost every single play, you see their mid blitz again. We just crushed them. Now, in this case, we actually started to go for two. I actually figured out I could pretty much go for two if I wanted to. Again, running the halfback wheel out of split close. 49ers playbook for me. There's a lot of them that have it. Um, but watch this. The R1 is almost always going to get wide open. You can see wide open for the touchdown. Now, what I do at the goal line is I don't do a slant with my circle receiver. I actually drag them. So instead of uh, left on the right stick, I actually press it down and he'll do a drag. Uh, that I tend to find works a little bit better. But uh, either way, I'm pretty much always throwing to R1. So there you have it. Uh, pretty much win every single solo battle in just dominating fashion without any sort of problem. And uh, hopefully that's helpful for you guys. If it is, make sure you drop a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new or if you're coming back and you unsubscribed at some point, I would appreciate a new subscription. Because again, I will be dropping more Madden 19 videos here in the coming days and weeks. This one was requested on Twitter, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Now, uh, with that said, let's get into some of the discussion of what I have been doing since I left left YouTube back in what January um, so actually what has been happening is I had my I shouldn't say I my wife and I had our second child our second daughter uh, and that's been a, it's been a great experience to be honest with you we love having our second baby uh, it is our last baby uh, I know a lot of people will be like oh that's what you say now but no 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 it is the last baby I promise um, so yeah, that's the last one. So we have two daughters as of right now, uh, love them both, but they are a, an extreme time consumption. I don't have anywhere near as much free time as I have in the past. Uh, but as my, my newest daughter is getting a little bit older, now we're actually able to have a little bit more free time. <laughs> uh, she's not independent, but she's a little bit more content with just hanging out 
which is great. So now I've got a little bit more time to do some of the things that I wanted to do, um, you know, aside from just, you know, holding the baby. She's cool with just hanging out, uh, you know, playing with her toys, stuff like that, and um, just being a little happy little baby. So she doesn't need constant attention, which is kind of cool. Uh, and also my other daughter has been really awesome with helping taking care of her lately as well. So that's been really great as well. So uh, yeah, it's been happy times for me, uh, but I am back on Madden 19. We'll be uploading a bunch of squads gameplay, I think. Uh, that's probably what I'm going to be doing for the most part this year uh, as far as gameplay goes. But I will also be doing some stuff like card reviews, uh, just general Madden content updates, things like this, uh, tips for you guys to finish solo challenges. I know a lot of people are having problems with like the rushing challenges and I can show you guys what I'm doing to finish those pretty easily if you're interested. So uh, if you want to know any of that kind of stuff, if you have a problem with a specific solo challenge, let me know in the comment section below and I will try and help you out as soon as possible. So uh, yeah, just drop a comment below, like the video, subscribe if you're new guys. Thanks so much for all the support and everything and for understanding if you do, I really, really do appreciate it. Follow me on Twitter as well at ClickwoodTV. And with that said, guys, I'm going to wrap this one up. Hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you guys again soon.